Gonna show ya what I know Break it free from the mainstream The studio machine I want it my way Indie Film Nation I want it my way Indie Film Nation Going all the way Indie Film Nation You know it's gotta be to Indie Film Nation. We are here live in London at the Brain Dance Film Festival. My name is Nina Hatchwell and I'm your host for today. We have with us here live Elliot Grove, who is the founder and creator of Brain Dance Film Festival. Hi, Elliot. Great to meet you, Nina, and Indie Film Nation. Great to be here. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to see you. Um, could you tell us a little bit about Rain Dance and how it all started and what it's all about? Yeah, Rain Dance is a film festival. We also have a film school. We have a postgraduate film degree. And just what anyone in Britain who's come through, and many of the filmmakers who have filmed at the festival here this year, came through the Rain Dance training program. And we found out. Nina, we found out that if you want to make a movie or write a screenplay either here or anywhere in the world, you have two options. The first option is to go to the ivory towers of the industry and bang on the door with that throng and hope you get one of the few people that get selected to come in. Everyone else who still wants to make movies or write screenplays are told to buy tickets and line up in the cinema and of course that's not the Rain Dance one. Rain Dance is all about independent film and we believe that if you want to create art, pop art, if you want to write a novel, if you want to write poetry, if you want to create dance or make a picture or in our case make a film, you should be allowed to do that and it is the very cream of the crop of films, independent films made away from the ivory towers that we celebrate here during this amazing 12 days here in London. When did it start? When was the very first Rain Dance? Uh, 21 years ago, 1993. How would you say it's grown to today? How are you enjoying this, this year? Uh... Well, this year we were flooded with submissions. We had over 4,300 submissions from all over the world. Um, to give you context, that's two million minutes, and we only have space here in this amazing multiplex to show 50,000 minutes. So we, disappointed a lot of people. Um, everyone is looking at Rain Dance because the quality of our program is second to none, I think, in the whole world. And I know I'm taking this hand and firmly slapping myself <laughs> on the back, but from person after person who comes and watches films here, they are astounded by the quality of the films from Serbia, from Australia, from China, from Japan, amazing Japanese film, Poland, Italy. Brazil, Chile, it goes on, Argentina. In fact, five of the films shortlisted by either Argentina, Spain, France, or Germany are screening right here, shortlisted for the Oscars, are screening right here. And most of them are European or world premieres. So we're very, very flattered in that people choose Rain Dance. But hey, it's in London, and London's cool. And if you live in London and have a film festival, you get to dress all in black and wear sunglasses day and night. <laughs> what could be cooler than that? I've noticed on your program there's uh, also web series and, and a lot of sort of, you've, you've, you've acknowledged the life of the internet and film. Um, how do you see the future of film and with regards to cinema and online and the online world? Well, that's a whole big long question, but basically <laughs> the industry's changed so much. There's a key date that changed filmmaking forever and that was Valentine's Day 2007 because that's the day that three co-founders of YouTube registered the URL youtube.com and with that changed the way people look at movies. We're here in the Microsoft Lounge and we're seeing all their amazing products of people being able to access and collaborate online. Uh, 20 years ago when I started Rain Dance, we showed nothing but 35 millimeter. We bought expensive ads in the newspapers to promote it. We printed glossy leaflets and mailed them everywhere. And this year, we do none of that. Hmm. Everything is digital and electronic. And the way the web series mean, or what, why we started to do that, and the first film festival in the world, I understand, to do that, is because the whole shape of the industry is changing. And the filmmakers of tomorrow are the ones that today understand that the distribution channels up until today are populated by dinosaurs and only by doing web stuff and learning how to monetize that will they be able to survive in this 
extremely cold, wintry economic climate. What are, would you say, in this year's festival, what are the top three films or directors to watch out for, would you say? Oh, I couldn't single anyone out because <laughs> they're all like my brothers and sisters, but we have an astounding program of films from Japan. Absolutely amazing. We also have a Mexican strand with stuff when you watch it, you go, not only how did they do that, but why did they do that? And thank God they did that. These are, this is, you know, amazing. We also have incredible films from Poland. And often these filmmakers in these countries outside of the fat and very economically prosperous Western nations, when they make stuff, they do it with literally nothing. They do it with a camera, not half as good as that. A microphone, probably as good at that, but with ideas that just blow you away. And we can learn so much from that. And they're all here at the festival. Yeah, they take a lot of risks, don't they? They're just unafraid to just go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what it's all about. Getting to the edge of the, of the cliff, looking down, and then looking up and just leaping, hoping, <coughs> as I hope this interview does, <laughs> you don't splat before you soar. I uh, want to thank you very much for uh, talking to us. And um, any last words you'd like to say for anyone coming to Raindance next year, what to expect? Well, just look at raindance.org. Our website is getting lots of visits. And there's all kinds of uh, self-help stuff and news about the film scene, not only in Britain, but around the world. And if you make it to London, I'll buy you a coffee. Just say you saw this on Indie Nation that Elliot, you promised me a coffee, and I'll get you a coffee in the luxurious Microsoft Filmmakers Lounge. How about that? Wow, that is an offer one cannot refuse. I think I'd like a coffee too. Um, okay, well, thank you very much for listening, and uh, we'll see you soon with someone else. Bye!